In this video, I'm going to show you a great way to be able to attack man-to-man -man coverage in Madden 23. Now, if you are new to the channel and you want to learn more about how to become a better Madden player, I'd really encourage you to join my Patreon. That's where you can get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. But like I said, today's video, we're going to be focusing on man-to-man. Uh, -man. We'll, we'll give you some stuff that will actually work against both man and zone, but we are going to specifically kind of hone in on man to man today and we're in the detroit lions playbook talking about the gun tight now if you want to get my full gun tight offensive ebook again the link is down in the description by joining the patreon for just 10 bucks you're going to get access to all of my madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks all right guys so gun tight and the play that we're going to be taking a look at today is going to be bench bench is one of the best man beaters in the entire game this year because of the uh, corner routes, but there's also some things we can do with this play that will make it really effective against both man and zone. So what we're going to do uh, with this play bench is actually a very simple. We're going to simply take the running back and we are going to put him on a in route. And then what I like to do is take this backside guy uh, on the left side and we're going to put him on a slant and we're just going to motion snap him to the outside just like this. And you're going to see here that it's going to give us some easy reads over the middle of the field. We're going to kind of create a makeshift mesh concept. We're also going to be able to attack the defense, um, not just with this mesh concept, but we're also going to be able, uh, if they do run man-to-man, -man, we're going to be able to attack them with these corner routes on both sides of the field. Now, if you have short and a lead on all these players, it's going to make it even more effective. Uh, but what I like to do is just kind of, again, something simple like this. Now, if they, what some people will do whenever they see that you're running gun tight is they will put these outside players, um, like in zones, they'll put them in like a third or something like that. What you'll notice is that this, there's, that's why we like this out route right here. This little quick out right here will beat man and it will also beat them if they're not putting a true cover three. Um, now if they are playing a true cover three, there's some other things we can do to attack the zone coverage. But really the easiest thing um, is just to, again, attack them in the field underneath here. So we can just simply take our in route to the back or our slant. Um, the other thing is this is going to also require them to have to play hard flats on both sides of the field. If they're not playing hard flats, we'll be able to take, um, we'll be able to take our running back route or our quick out over here, as you can see, just these little quick reads um, that help us to attack zone coverage. Now, the other thing that I wanted to go over is if they are putting the hard flats on the field, then what you'll notice uh, with this play is that this slant, you don't have to motion this slant out if you don't want to, um, but what you will see with this slant here is if we wait on it, it's going to get open right in that little pocket right there. That's kind of one of the other little micro purposes of this play. Now, again, like I said, this is a really good man beater in general. Pretty much every route on the field has a good chance to be able to beat man to man. That slant over the middle is really good, as you see, coming open over the middle. Now, the user, a lot of times, um, when when you start running stuff like this, one of the things that we want to try to do is keep the user in the middle of the field so that he can't go uh, and user these routes, right? So I can throw that quick slant um, if that user says, I'm going to go run in the corner routes, well, then I can just throw, you know, the quick slant routes. So, you know, I have this to kind of help hold the user in the middle. And then you see how good this corner route is to the left side, able to, you know, get separation against man and zone uh, pretty well. So, you know, these corner routes are great, but when you can have something that can hold the user in the middle of the field, I think that that's one of the most important things. Um, in any good man beating offense, you've got to have something that attacks the whole field in terms of where we're going to actually be able to beat man. So by, you know, putting this little slant here, now the user has to stay in the middle of the field. And then, you know, you also have stuff like this little quick out against man. This quick out's not too bad. Um, a lot of times it will get open pretty well as well. So this is gun tight bench. This is just one of many ways that you could set this up. You could do something like this. Um, if you wanted to, this is a pretty good little setup here. You've got that. You still have the corner route on the left and the right, and then you now have a clear out streak. Um, if you're going to run a clear out streak, I suggest that you run the clear out streak to the short side of the field, because what you'll notice is if they're in zone, this clear out streak is going to do a really good job of pulling zones out of the way. Um, so anyways, that is gun tight bench. If you want to learn more about the gun tight, 
You can get my entire gun tight offensive ebook by joining our Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member, and you'll get access to over 21 offensive and defensive ebooks. We're dropping a brand new defense later this week. Thanks for watching the video, and if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the link in the description below.